at the end of this video, you should be able to Enumerate common ways to propagate trees and fruit-bearing trees using scientific process Identify the appropriate tools and equipment in plant propagation and their uses Apply healthy and safety measures in propagating fruit-bearing trees Propagating plants is the cheapest and easiest way to reproduce new plants from the parent plant. It is also an art of producing new plants. There are two common ways of propagating or reproducing plants, namely, sexual propagation uses the seed of a plant to produce new plant, and a sexual propagation that involves taking a part of one parent plant and causing it to reproduce itself into a new plant. A sexual propagation includes marketing, budding, and grafting. Through these methods, you can produce different varieties of plants in your backyard. This is also a good source of income and a fun way to spend time. So it is good to know that planting will give you lots of benefits aside from giving us food, fresh air, and habitat for other animals. Many people now are producing varieties of plants using these methods. Marketing Marketing is a method that allows rooting of a plant of the stem while it's still attached to the parent tree. Wear your personal protective equipment, or PPE. Prepare all tools and materials needed. Use tools according to its use. Soak the sphagnum moss, or coconut husk, in a basin of water. Use the tie to measure the circumference of the stem. The length from the measured circumference is now the basis of cut to be made. Make a horizontal cut using the cutter, and then perform the rounded cut from the top to bottom in both ends of the first cut. Carefully remove the bark with your hands. Using the knife or cutter, scrape the cambium layer. This is the slimy secretion responsible for repairing the wounded plant parts. Place the sphagnum moss or coconut husk to the scraped area, then wrap it with cellophane or plastic and tie both ends. Grafting Grafting is a propagating technique simply defined as attaching a twig or scion from one tree to the stem of a tree seedling or root stalk. The lower part of the graft is known as the understalk or stalk which becomes the root system or part of the trunk. The upper part of the graft is known as the scion and becomes the top of the plant. There are several kinds of grafting, which method to use depends on the age and the type of plant involved. Wear your personal protective equipment or PPE. Prepare all tools and materials needed. Clean the root stalk. Create a split about 6 inches down. Leave a wedge or other similar tools to hold open the cleft center. Make long tapering wedge on the base of each scion to fit into the cleft. Insert the scions deeply so that their wedge bottoms are completely embedded. The cambia of the scions and root stalk must be aligned and in maximum contact to ensure union. Once the scions are properly inserted and aligned, carefully remove the wedge holding the cleft open. Seal the unions with wax or soil to prevent drying. If the scions survive, only the stronger, healthier one is kept and the other is removed. Budding Budding or bud grafting is the union of one bud with or without a small piece of bark from one plant or scion into a stem of a rootstock. It is especially used when scion material is limited. Wear your personal protective equipment or PPE before working. Prepare all tools and materials needed. Remove the lateral bud from the scion using the cutter. Make an inverted T slice on the bark of another plant. Insert the bud and then tie it firmly leave the bud exposed. Immediate and quick process of budding should be done because buds easily dry up. Union may take about 15 days or more. 
the inserted bud will remain green or brownish depending on its natural color. You will know if the union is unsuccessful if the buds turn black and rots. Using appropriate tools and equipment in planting will surely make the work easy. It is very important to know the suitable tools and equipment to use. As a plant grower, it is very necessary that you have these tools and equipment when doing the plant propagation for some reasons like it makes work easy, protect plants from too much damage, reduce mortality rate, and achieve good results. Pruning shears It is used for cutting small branches including the unnecessary branches. Knife It is used for cutting and slicing planting materials. Sprinkler It is used to water the seedlings. Eyeglasses It is used to protect the eyes. Hand fork it is used for cultivating the soil. Garden scissor. It is used for cutting grass and shaping the plant or shrub. Wheelbarrow. It is used for transporting heavy loads or seedlings. Gloves. It is used to protect the hands while working. Hoe. It is used for cultivating hard soil and removing grasses. Apron. It is used to keep the clothes clean while doing dirty works. Hand trowel. It is used for loosening the soil applying organic fertilizer. Rake. It is used for leveling and pulverizing the soil or for collecting leaves. Shovel. It is used for digging, lifting, and moving bulk materials such as soil, coal, gravel, and sand. Boots or rubber shoe. It is used to protect the feet from mud, snake bites, and sharp objects. Here are the health and safety measures in plant propagation. Secure to wear the personal protective equipment or PPE. Always make sure equipment are in good working condition before using it and follow instructions for its proper use. Focus in the work at hand. Enjoy your work and know your limits. Try to make good plans of your desired work. You should always remember to clean up before, during, and after working.